This is Joseph Brown of A Fool for Learning, and our foolish thought for today is we don't have synergy or you only get one chance to make a good first impression. Not too long ago, I attended an online networking event, which was attended by over 70 people. As part of this event, the organizers would place everyone into a breakout room and you would get the chance to speak with two other people for approximately 10 minutes. During one of those breakout rooms, I met someone who, after I told him what I did, asked if I could create a curriculum and lesson plans. I said yes, I could, as I had done so when I was a teacher and recently when I worked with a STEM nonprofit. He then proceeded to tell me what he and his business partner wanted to do. Seemed pretty straightforward if you asked me. Oh yes, I stated. I think you are looking to do X, Y, and Z, and I can certainly help you with that. With that, I got an immediate and very sharp, no, that is not what I want. I apologized and asked if we could have a brief meeting to discuss exactly what the needs are and to see if I understand what he's looking for and if, if I can assist. And if I can't, I know of others who may be a better fit for him. He seemed fine with that, and I promised to write him and set up a meeting. The next day, a Friday, I reached out to this person via email and via LinkedIn. The weekend came and went, and no answer. I attempted to call, but there was no option to connect with him. So... I wrote him a second, a second time with the typical wording that, you know, maybe my email probably slipped through the cracks, etc. Still, after a few days, no reply. So, I decided to get up off my butt, get out of my chair, and pay him a visit. And so I drove up to his company's brick and mortar place, which was about 20 or so minutes away from where I live. I entered the establishment. I greeted him and reintroduced myself. He told me, well, my business partner is on vacation and really, I don't think we have any synergy. At first, I was taken aback by his response. And so I asked him for a meeting when his business partner is back, even if it's short, so that I can better understand what he needs and wants. Again, I explained that for whatever reason you feel that I am not the right person for you, I fully understand. And I do know of other trainers who may be more suitable for him. I handed him my business card and even gave one, an extra one to him for his business partner. Of course, when I returned home, I followed up with an email. I did not expect to receive a response from him. And to this day, I have not received one. So, as you can imagine, I have a number of thoughts on this and want to share just one, which I talked about in one of my very early podcasts. You have only one chance to make a good first impression. My assuming what he needed was my mistake. I should have said that I think I understand his need, but I would like to meet with him and his business partner to discuss further. I blew it with my assumption, and therefore will not most likely not get that second chance with him. A lesson learned the hard way. If you wish to connect with me to assist you and your organization with an appropriate learning solution to meet your business needs, please visit my website at afoolforlearning.com. This is Joseph Barone, the CEO for A Fool for Learning, signing out. Remember, Learn, perform, succeed.